There used to be a military unit out there who took direct inspiration from Star Wars, and I'm not kidding. They were called the Fedayeen Saddam, which translates to Saddam's Men of Sacrifice. Now, as Americans, it's very hard to believe or understand why anybody would join a group called Saddam's Men of Sacrifice. Americans are taught to believe Saddam was terrible, all the things he did was bad, his sons are terrible, and a lot of that is true, but some of it is not. You see, to a lot of Iraqis, Saddam was like their President Trump. Some of the things he did and said, yeah, they were kind of bad, but our economy is doing awesome. And it's true, under Saddam's regime, the economy was doing really well. And that's essentially how he was able to convince up to 40,000 men to join Fedayeen Saddam. And quick disclaimer, I am not a supporter of Saddam or his sons. I'm glad they were taken out. Now, Fedayeen Saddam are most famous for literally their helmets. Now, the leader of this paramilitary branch, yes, they were a paramilitary branch, his name was Uday. Now, Uday was a massive fan of Star Wars, and he decided it'd be a great idea to give his paramilitary a direct inspiration to Star Wars and gave him Stormtrooper helmets. Now, as someone who's been able to handle one of these helmets, and you can ask anybody who's fought against a Fedayeen, these helmets are literally the least tactical things ever. You have a better chance of wearing a German World War II helmet than one of these things because it is not saving you from anything. And you stand out like a sore thumb wearing a Fedayeen helmet. Now, things can get a little confusing. The Fedayeen of Saddam are not the Republican Guard. For people who don't know, the Republican Guard were sold as these elite fighters who did get some extra pay, got some extra training, and they were the elite fighters of Saddam. To give credit where credit's due, they were the ones who invaded Kuwait, they were the ones who stopped Iran from taking over Iraq, so they were sort of elite, but they were also a little overrated if you ask any veteran who deployed to Iraq. The reason why these two get looped together, the Republican Guard and the Fedayeen of Saddam, is because they often fought side by side together. This is because the person in charge directly of these units was Saddam himself. But the Fedayeen was not a professional military. Again, they were literally what's called a paramilitary group. Which means they were a guerrilla warfare fighting force controlled by a dictator and they could do whatever they wanted. And they did do whatever they want. You see, their technical job was to be the bodyguards of Saddam, but also their job was to stop the smuggling of goods coming into Iraq. This is sort of how, like the Secret Service, we know them formally to protect the president, but their actual job is to really stop counterfeiting of money. So what the Fedayeen of Saddam was doing was literally, instead of stopping smuggling, they were smuggling good themselves to other countries. The Fedayeen of Saddam was literally known to take each other out at a political level because they wanted power and control. You see, to be a member of the Fedayim of Saddam, it was such a glorious thing for your family. So the higher you got in rank within the organization, the more glory and money you brought for your family. And you're probably asking, how could such an elite unit be so horrible within itself? Well, when the leader of your organization took his own national soccer team and put him in a prison for losing soccer games, what do you think is going to be the standard for the rest of this paramilitary organization? Fedayeen were also known to thug their way around cities. They would beat anybody up who didn't agree with Saddam. They would pressure political leaders to agree with Saddam. This was literally a fighting force who did whatever Saddam wanted, and they did whatever they wanted. But in 2003, there was a realization that they're going to actually have to do their job against a real fighting force called the United States. And they were absolutely dismantled when they had to fight one-on-one -on -one against the U.S. military. But their history doesn't stop there. When the Iraqi military dissolved, including the Republican Guard, a lot of Fedayeen forces and Republican Guard forces joined together, and they essentially joined the ranks of militia groups to fight against the United States. It is even reported today that Fedayeen forces are fighting today along the ranks of ISIS and other paramilitary groups who want revenge for Saddam and want to regain access to all of Iraq. So even though this paramilitary group, the Fedayeen Saddam, they were technically dismantled, there are still organizers and fighters today who want to be the Fedayeen of Saddam and regain control of their old country. 